What is up everyone, I'm Costa and today guys I'm gonna show you how to create this crazy looking effect using Adobe Photoshop. Let's get started. Alright, so first make sure your image is a smart object. So right click and convert to smart object. Now go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. So I will add around 4 pixels, but if your image is bigger you might want to add more pixels to it. So now I will click OK. Now go again to filter and then click on liquify. Over here make sure this icon is selected and make sure that your brush is big enough, something like mine. If you want to increase the brush size then you can do it over here. So now click and drag to the right or to the left, it depends on your image. And now click OK. Well as you can see uh, this image doesn't look that great right now, but if you go in the layers panel, here we got these small icons, so click on this icon and now select the screen blending mode. If you want something darker, maybe you want to go more dramatic, then you can select the multiply. So I will select again the screen and now click OK. OK, so go again to filter, blur and this time click on motion blur. Now play with the motion blur. In my case, I believe that 92 pixels is gonna be fine. And the angle, uh, it's minus 8. So I will click OK now. Now we have to go again to filter, click on noise and add noise. So 5% it's gonna be fine and click OK. Alright, now go to adjustments layers and click on gradient map. Click on this gradient and now over here we have the presets uh, with our gradients. These are the uh, standard presets that come in Photoshop. So I will choose one of these, but you can also create your own gradient. So I will click on reds and click on this gradient over here. Now click OK and voila. Alright, the next step is to write something. So dreams only. Now I will press Ctrl plus D to make the text smaller, something like this and center the text. Okay, right click and convert the text into a smart object. Now go to filter again, blur and motion blur. Decrease the motion blur, something like this. All right, and uh, bring this layer below the gradient layer. And voila guys, that's how you create this nice effect in Adobe Photoshop.